All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about dermatologic macroscopic terms. And because it's not so easy to remember all the different terms, we're going to try to make it fun. Okay, so we have each person here representing a different lesion, and we're going to talk about each one individually with some characteristics and examples. So here we go. So let's start with macule and patch. And we put them together because they're very similar. And the only difference between them is size. So let's start with macule. So these images that I've superimposed in this scene are straight from first aid for the USMLE. So these images might look familiar. I did that on purpose. So here we go. This guy is balancing a Mac on top of his head. A Mac to help us remember macule. And as he's balancing the Mac on top of his head, he develops this freckle on his lip over here. This little freckle. A freckle is a type of macule. So let's define macule. A macule is a flat lesion with well-circumscribed change in skin color. And it's less than one centimeter, as we can see over here. And that's in contrast to a patch. This guy was balancing a patch, an ice patch on top of his head. Double remember patch. And he noticed this patch on his arm. This birthmark, a large birthmark. A large mark birthmark is a patch. So really the only difference between macula and patch is basically the size. A macula is less than one centimeter, and an example is a freckle, whereas a patch is larger than one centimeter, and an example is a large birthmark. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, here we're going to discuss papule and plaque. And again, these are very similar. A papule is an elevated solid skin lesion that is less than one centimeter. And that's what we find over here, this elevated skin lesion that's less than one centimeter. A mole is an example. Acne is also an example. Maybe this is a pimple from acne. That's an example of a papule. A plaque, on the other hand, is very similar. It's just bigger than one centimeter. And this shows up in, for example, psoriasis. And to help us remember the plaque, we have this guy in the back over here of the scene. There's a plaque of him on the wall over here. The plaque on the wall, helps remember that this is the plaque. That this elevated solid skin lesion that's bigger than one centimeter is a plaque. Okay, here we go. We're up to vesicle and bulla. So a vesicle is a small fluid contained blister that's less than one centimeter. So you see this guy, he's got a vesicle over here. Well, he's got a vessel on the floor over here, maybe a container. That's to help us remember vesicle. These are these vesicles, these fluid containing blisters. And to help us remember that they're fluid containing, we'll have some fluid coming out of them. So here we have the fluid going onto the vessel. These are the vesicles. A bulla is a large fluid containing blister. We have the bulla. And this guy has this huge fluid containing blister that's obviously larger than one centimeter. And it's spilling water on the bully over here, the bully for bulla. And just as an example, a vesicle shows up in chicken pox, whereas a bulla shows up in bullus pemphigoid. Okay, let's discuss some other dermatologic skin lesions. So here we go to the lower floor, where we see pustule and wheel. Pustule and wheel. So a pustule is a vesicle containing pus. And I don't need a mnemonic for that. Pustule sounds like pus. So we see this guy in his leg over here. He's got this pustule, this pus-containing lesion over here. Right there. A wheel, on the other hand, is a transient smooth papule or plaque. It's smooth. Hives are such an example. And that's why we have this wheel over here to help us remember wheel with the hive on top of it. But to help us remember that hives is an example of wheels. And for our last two, we have scales and crust. These are very easy. Scale sounds like a scale of a fish flaking off of the stratum corneum. The stratum corneum is the most superficial layer of the epidermis. So flaking off of the stratum corneum is what scales is, and it shows up as an eczema as well as in psoriasis. Crust, on the other hand, is a dry exudate, and it shows up in things like empatigo. That's why I have this dry exit over here on his leg. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on dermatologic macroscopic terms. Please subscribe to the channel, ask me questions if you like, and take care.